get away without being that. I guess without having <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah, I get another thing like that. I like, um, just on a lot of things in the industry, you need to play a full strength to get good results. And, and when you're on the bar, one player's going to be good strength, and that's the good. So, I mean, it's a great um, bonus for us to have play that back. Not just for them, it's a four for And for him, he looks one of them players, so he's so good, he's fantastic in there. But he looks good, he wants to score goals. Every opportunity, you know, that's his game. And he's disappointed if he's ever seen him on the other team, and he hasn't scored a goal. He's a little bit disappointed because he's that type of player. All right, gentlemen, it's nice to see your reputations on the line and tell us what you think is going to happen on this one. It's uh, Aguilas and Park presumably back in the edition of the edge. Of course, these teams have met only four or five times in their history of football. Reading is number one. Is this their day? No, no, I don't think it is. I think they need a big result after their last time this week, which is why I think I'm going to sit here that and say that they'll win two, what they'll be winning two. Okay, my question. It's from there. I'm going to go on it. I'm going to go for home, home advantage. Okay, sure. I think the two of them are uh, average, the two of them are as good as each other. And I'm just going to go for the Goodison Shaw table to get that uh, out of the team. And Kevin will be gone. I'm going to go out and clean them. Great stuff. So, thank you very much indeed. That's just about concluding from our third and next preview. Our next look up will be live and exclusive. Of course, at Goodison Park. It's Everton versus Reading.